Dímelo mi gente, what up? It's your boy Gus. We are here at the GBJ headquarters. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we make the 1,000 gram, 14 karat Miami Cuban link chain rum scratch. Because guess what? Here at GBJ, we're not resellers, papa. We actually make it with these little things and a little elbow grease. Stay tuned to the very end. You're not gonna believe how we actually make these. And I'm gonna show you guys every single step of the way. Let go, Ben. Hit me with the intro music. Guys, this is the first part about making the Cuban Lake chain. It's the melt out process. We put all the material into this crucible and light this bitch on fire really, really hot. It's a mixture of both gas and oxygen. It's gonna liquefy the gold. Then we're gonna throw that liquid gold into this metal bar and create one long golden bar, which we begin to stretch to make the actual wire itself. Once the bar is melted, we begin to stretch it through this rolling mill. Every single time he passes it through the rolling mill, we press the levers to tighten it, making the diameter of the actual bar smaller and smaller. Once we get to the desired size, then we begin to stretch it in the stretch bench. It rounds out the wire, and that's what we actually use to make the links themselves. have a drill, you've seen it probably on my IG story, but in this particular case we're doing it manual. The drill that we will regularly have is not in service. So it's time for a little elbow grease and we're going to do this manual. Spin the rod, wrap the wire, and then we can actually cut the links.
solder and cleans the soldering area, it really uses those links once it comes time to add that flame on there. We put it in a pan, what we're doing right now is evaporating that pan until it's just the links and flux itself. And this here is the beautiful dance. It's called the solder. We introduce solder to close up each one of the links. It's where we separate really the guys who know and the guys who don't know. What you're trying to do is bring that link up into the point where it begins to glow red and it's about to actually turn into liquid gold. Only then do you actually introduce that solder, you close up that link, and here's where you get the beautiful chain being made initially. Now we gotta sit here and turn it and make what we call a cumulant chain. This is the part where everyone squeezes their asshole. We are going to attempt to turn this chain. If soldered correctly, it should turn on the first try. And we don't know until we actually do it. So let's try and clinch our assholes. Hopefully this works out. We'll see. It didn't work out too well. So once we've repaired the link, Usually it would have broken. We clean it up, re-solder it, and now here comes the final turn. Fingers crossed, it actually works this time. Let's take a look. And there you go. Completely done. Second time to try. here is called the file. It sucks, it's terrible, it's tiring, you're sweaty, but this is what I pay for handmade because someone's gonna sit here and break their back to file this. And also where you add the beauty to the chain. You curve it, I like the more flatter bubbly style, but ultimately this is the match.
everyone has their preference if casted locks are better than handmade lock boxes. The truth is, there's nothing that beats a good handmade lock box. Here we actually make them from scratch. We're making everything from the wire to the board to the actual button. The whole thing is handmade. It leads to much better tension, much better aesthetics, and it's just the right thing. If you are paying a premium for your Miami Cuban Link, the least you can expect is a handmade lockbox from any old order. That's the GBG guarantee. This part here is the final and most beautiful part. Here's where the gold looks kind of dirty and we bring it to life. It's the final polish. There's two buffing wheels that we use. This one is to take out all the scratches. Then we switch to the white one and it's to give it that nice, beautiful shine. It's the most intricate part. It's the most important. I know I said that about every single one of them, but here is the beauty when it goes from looking kind of ugly to looking like a beautiful Cuban link that we give to you guys as the paying customer. There you have it guys, how we created this thing completely from scratch. We hope you enjoyed the process. It gives you a little bit more of a behind the scenes of how actual jewelers and not resellers make things happen. Of course, if you are in the market for a Miami Cuban link, whether it be something huge or a daily wear, visit gusvillajewelry.com as well as any other custom project. We will bring it to life. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Holla at me.